What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com. How are you guys doing today? Well, uh, this is just going to be a really quick unboxing video for you guys of something that uh, we just purchased not too long ago um, at my work for the videographer. They just got him a new wireless mic system. So this right here is something from Sennheiser. It's the Sennheiser EW112P uh, G3 wireless mic system. There's a bunch of different combos and different packs you can purchase, but that is a specific one that this is. If you guys are interested in purchasing this, I'll give you the link that we actually use to purchase it off of Amazon. Um, this by itself is about 600 bucks, but for 629, we got a package deal where they include uh, eight uh, rechargeable Amazon batteries, as well as an SKB hard shell carrying case that will hold all the stuff. So pretty good deal for $30 more than what it would cost to just buy the, the mics itself. But I want to show you guys what comes included with this particular kit, the different connectors and wires are in, and also the transmitter and the receiver. Um, so this is the box that it comes in. Let me just read in the back here. So this has the EK100G3 receiver, the SK100G3 transmitter, and then the lapel mic that's in here is the ME2 lapel mic. Okay, so let's crank it open and let me show you guys what comes inside the box right here. And if you guys are, are like I said, this is something that um, the videographer in my job is using. But if you guys actually want to see a full review of this, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if, when I get a chance, I can be able to play with it and test out, test it out for a little bit. And I can give you guys my full thoughts on what I think about it. So here we have the, uh, first off, the install, or the uh, starter guide. And this is pretty thick, but it's probably, yeah, it's in a bunch of different languages. Yeah, so it's in, it comes in a bunch of different languages, so the English one is not very big at all. So that's the uh, user guide that comes with it. Pop this piece off right here. So let's see what is in here. So we'll start off with the connectors here. So we have a 3.5 jack connector and this is the other connector that goes into the uh, into the receiver right there and it's like a screw mounted type of uh, cable so that means it won't accidentally pop off of the of the uh, the receiver accidentally so that's the first one so 3.5 and I believe there's a yep so then there's a nice XLR one here as well so if you have a nice a nice setup we have a prosumer camera that has XLR inputs or if you're using a recorder like the Zoom H5 that I'm using right now that has XLR inputs, you could use that there and get some a little bit better audio quality. And then we have the screw, the screw in the tip right there that goes into the actual unit itself. So that's the other cable that's included with it. Then we have the ME2 lapel mic, and it comes with all the different pieces you would expect. And don't think this cord is very long. Let's see here. So we have that. Yeah. So there's the clip and then the actual uh, little tip right there. So, uh, not the best lapel mic, but it does come with it, and of course you can always purchase a different one if you want to, with it with a with the screw and mount. You have to use it, make sure it's just the right plug, the right connector to screw into the device so it doesn't pop out by accident. So that's the lapel mic, the ME2 lapel mic. They do throw in uh, the batteries for the, the, the units here, so they both take two AA batteries. And like I mentioned, this combo pack that we purchased here, it came with eight uh, rechargeable Amazon batteries in the pack. But in this actual box itself, this is the batteries that come with it. Also nice is the camera mount, so if you have for the uh, receiver, if you want to mount this to the top of a camera, right now it just has the, the pack where it just basically clips to your, your belt if you have a, it has a belt clip on it, but this is a, something you can attach to it so you can actually mount it to the top of your camera and keep the, the receiver close to you. So now let's get into the two units. So this one right here is the transmitter. So this is what you would wear, this is what you plug in the microphone into. And you can see it's a pretty small housing. It's not very heavy at all. Of course, the batteries are not inside of it just yet, so they'll probably add a little bit of weight to it. But uh, it has a nice metal construction. It seems pretty hardcore. I mean, this is a this is a, a, a unit that a lot of uh, videographers use. This is kind of like the standard or one of the standards if you want to come to using, having wireless mics. So most people that do professional audio probably have a set of these with them. So. So these actually have the pins here, so if you do have the, like, I think there's a thing you can purchase where you can, you can stick that in there and it will recharge them up, like a little caddy to hold both of them together in there. Pop this open, that's where you put the AA batteries. And then we have the on and off switch right there. We have the set switch over here, and we have, the, obviously, the LED screen. Low battery indicator, AF peak right there. The antenna is pretty small. It doesn't feel too like it would uh, break or, you know, wear out too easily, so that's pretty nice. We have the connector right there for screwing in the, uh, the microphone. So it won't pop out by accident. I have the mute switch on the top right there. And our belt clip. And actually a really stiff belt clip. Probably would last you quite a bit of time. Okay, so this one, like I said, is that is the transmitter. The receiver looks very similar with the different options in the front. So we have the low battery and the RF on here. So here's the buttons for the controlling the, the, the options in the LCD screen. 
We have our, have our AF out, and that's what you would plug in either the XLR or the 3.5 into your camera, depending on what kind of input you have on the camera. Same kind of tabs on the side, so you can get that caddy to like recharge it up if you pop it into there, and it would charge up the batteries if you have rechargeable batteries inside of it. Same kind of thing inside here, on and off switch, the set button right here. And so obviously the belt clip again, but this is the one that you could attach the uh, camera mount to. And you can actually slide it into the, the, the cold shoe on the camera and be uh, be good to go. So you have a camera mounted right on top of your camera, so you have access to it really, really quick access. Plus it'll be short travel from here to your camera, so you don't need a longer cable. If you were to put this on your hip, you'd have to have a longer cable going from here to your camera. So you definitely want to mount it to your camera and make that a little bit easier. So these are pretty small, pretty lightweight. I, I thought actually thought these were a little bit bigger. I hadn't never really taken a good look at them. When I'd seen other people using them before, I always thought they were a little bit larger, but they're pretty small, pretty lightweight. Obviously, the batteries aren't in there, but even with the batteries in it, I don't think it'd be that that heavy at all. So overall, nice nice quality, and so I look forward to start testing it out and play with these. I'm probably going to be uh, helping the, the videographer here with a couple of different videos that they're doing that might work. So, yeah, like I said, if you guys are interested in uh, seeing a full review of these, let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe I'll check it out and test it out for a few days. And I'll give you guys my full thoughts on what I think about the audio quality. I'll give you guys a couple samples of that too as well. So let me know if that's something you're interested in checking out and seeing. And then uh, I'll give it to you and I'll provide that content for you. Um, also, like I said, this is a, well, this was included in a bundle that we got from uh, Amazon. So I'll put the link in the description if you guys are interested in getting that bundle. But it's 630 bucks right now for the whole kit that I showed you here. Plus um, eight AA batteries that are rechargeable from Amazon. And then uh, the SKB hard shell case to keep it all protected and nice and, uh, and and organized and such so that's it guys if you have any questions about anything you've seen so far post them down below uh, i read each and every comment in all of my videos and i'll get back to you as quickly as possible and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to stay up to date with my content and i'll see you guys in the next video review